Welcome to the Expat Talk Show. I'm your host, Ethan Mitchell. This week, the French government has decided to cancel a planned expansion of the country's biggest airport, Charles de Gaulle. They said they're making all these new runways for the Parisians constantly fleeing the city. No, really. What's with these Parisians fleeing the city every time the government enacts new rules about COVID safety? I mean, they love the city to death, but when there's a slight inconvenience, they scatter like kids at a party when the cops show up. But Emmanuel Macron was forced to scrap the plans because of the damage more airplanes would do to the environment. It's clear Emmanuel Macron knows he needs the liberals for the upcoming election, so he tried to play it safe with the environmental stuff. But, you know, you can tell this guy was really trying to make it up to the liberals. He said, what if we put a vegan restaurant in Terminal B? Now, it wouldn't be an expat talk show unless I was talking about a new protest. I know, I, I feel like I do this every week, but uh, this week... French farmers are staging a protest over the school board in a small town trying to make school lunches vegetarian. I remember when conservatives were upset with Michelle Obama for trying to make our school lunches more healthy. Could you imagine if Michelle Obama tried to pull this shit? Her book wouldn't be called Becoming, it would be called How the Grinch Stole School Lunch. In other news, French investigators are probing manslaughter allegations against Italy's Costa Cruises. And this time it's not for some guy's wife falling overboard late at night. It's being investigated for its handling of COVID-19 cases on board one of the ships, which has claimed the lives of three passengers. You know, the wives are pretty pissed off too. They married someone who thought a cruise was a vacation. This cruise ship toured the Caribbean going island to island, bringing hordes of clueless white people filled with disease. Is this a cruise ship or a Christopher Columbus reenactment? In other news, city authorities in Paris won a court challenge on Thursday over rules that restricted the use of fraudulent Airbnbs. This decision means the city will be able to resume its legal claims against, and I can't even make this shit up, 420 renters. I mean, sometimes I wonder if the French government is really just messing with us. I mean, how much are you going to find them? 69,000 bucks? It's like the government is run by two middle school boys giggling in the corner. And finally, it's very sad to say, but Daft Punk has finally hung up their helmets. The crew was very inconsistent. They were always on and off. Sometimes they were working, sometimes they weren't. Just like Dick Cheney's heart. Thanks. That's our show.